Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about life cycle management in Security Verify. Account life cycle is a process in identity governance in which user accounts on the target are managed from Security Verify. In today's modern world, employees need high number of applications to complete their day-to-day -day job. This makes granting appropriate access a critical need for organizations. Ensuring users quickly get access to the systems and data they need to perform their jobs is key to operating efficiently and securely. Security Verify makes this job simpler for you. Let's first take a look at Configured Application Salesforce. Security Verify provisioning enables you to create, update and remove user accesses across your organization and its applications based on different factors like geographic location, job title, or any other grouping that suits the organization. In this Salesforce application, we have the provisioning and deprovisioning policies configured. With provisioning policy enabled, an account is created when entitlement is assigned to a user. Having deep provisioning policy enabled, an account is deprovisioned when the entitlement is removed from a user. Once application is configured, there could be different ways you can sync users and groups in Security Verify. Let's say you have user Jessica in Workday who belongs to marketing department. Once the users and groups are synced, you can view the details in users and groups in Security Verify. Here we have Jessica synced from Workday and also corresponding groups, marketing and sales. In Security Verify, you can have roles configured for your application, which would dictate the provisioning and deprovisioning for users based on the groups they belong to. You can have application role, marketing supervisor with permission, say, marketing engineer and marketing representative. You can assign a group marketing to this role. You can also have application role sales supervisor with permission say sales engineer and sales representative. You can assign a group sales to this role. With this roles configuration, as soon as Jessica is onboarded and added to marketing department, she would be entitled to all permissions on target belonging to marketing role. In provisioning results, you can see that Jessica has been provisioned onto the target and she has also acquired required permissions marketing engineer and marketing representative by virtue of the marketing role. This shows a typical joiner scenario when a new user is onboarded. Now, if the same user moves to a new department, let's say sales, Security Verify will take care of deprovisioning the user from marketing specific permissions on target and provision a user to sales specific permissions on target. In provisioning results, you can see that Jessica has now acquired sales specific permissions, sales engineer and sales representative. This shows the mover scenario when user moves from one department to other. Finally, if the user leaves the organization, this should trigger deprovisioning operation for the user and the corresponding group permission should also be removed from target. This is how you can automate user lifecycle flows in your organization using Security Verify and ensure you meet your compliance requirements at all stages.